NASCAR driver Bubba Wallace. You know, you would think that by now, after everything that we've seen from this guy over the past couple of years, that he would come to his senses. Maybe have, oh, I don't know, a, a moment of reflection. Straighten up a little bit. But no, he's not doing that at all. In fact, he's going full-fledged into wokeness. And recently, comments that he made about the NASCAR fans got a lot of people talking we're going to dive in and discuss in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, well, that's all I can do. Hey, guys, huge favor. Do me if you can. Hit that like button. It really helps us out in the algorithms, getting these videos out there to more people. Share the videos well across all your platforms. Hit that bell. Subscribe. Of course, yes. Wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. And hey, if you guys want to get these videos earlier than everybody else, you know, but before they hit hit YouTube, then you got to join my Patreon, okay? Join my Patreon channel for as little as five bucks a month. Go to patreon.com slash news. Again, you can do it for as little as five bucks a month. You get early access to all of these videos. You do not have to wait for them to drop on YT. So if you want to be a part of that, get the early videos Go to patreon.com slash news. Also there, you will be able to comment on all of the videos there, completely censorship-free, and send me direct message. You'll also, you'll also get alerted for all of the videos and content as well, unlike YT and their notifications. So again, check me out over there on Patreon. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So what's going on with Bubble Wallace? I mean, this guy. Recently, he was in Chicago at the Black History Museum. It was called Bubba's Block Party. And well, what Bubba was doing was trying to promote NASCAR more to, you know, more to the, the black culture, right? The, those in Chicago, those that don't know a lot about NASCAR, we want to try and appeal more to, you know, get, get more of a fan base of, of African Americans. Okay, fine. Whatever you want to do. However... It was the comments that Bubba made when he was approached and, and, and was asked why he's so unpopular. Now, now, let's remember here. Bubba Wallace, everything back in 2020, right? The whole news thing in the garage. You know, after this whole thing was proven to be nothing more than a hoax, did he apologize for his lies? No. He, he, he kept going with this and, and kept spreading the lie. It wasn't just him. It was everybody in the media as well that were helping to cover for him. And NASCAR has now said, you know what? No, we want to adopt more of the woke stuff into the sport of racing. Keep in mind, of course, that NASCAR is largely made up of a, uh, of a big conservative base. But that doesn't stop NASCAR at all. No, 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 no. And <laughs> when Bubba Wallace was asked about why he is so unpopular amongst the huge majority of NASCAR fans, he responded in a very interesting way, and I'll talk about that in a second. But really quick, guys, you know, I mentioned here at the top my Patreon. You guys can join that, again, for as little as 5 bucks a month, patreon.com slash news. Remember, you get early access to all the videos, and you can leave your comments censorship-free and send me direct messages. It all helps out my ministry when you guys make a generous donation, help support me. But also, you guys can simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can just kind of throw me a tip with a one-time donation. Really easy to do right from the video page. You can select any amount you want. Um, and again, uh, it goes towards helping in my ministry here and it shows your appreciation. So uh, thank you so much for that if you guys are able to help out. But when Wallace responded here, he said that fans do not want to embrace change. Oh, here we go with the change, uh, you know, uh, the change message here. Preaching to us about change. That those you know people who are on the fence about change, those people we can work with. He said that we're trying to make the sport of NASCAR a more diverse and inclusive place for everybody. And well, if you're one of those fans that doesn't want to get on board with unnecessary change, well then we will just drive on without you, leaving you in the dust. So basically he's saying we need to be forced to embrace a change that goes against our beliefs. Meaning we need to accept more of his race baiting, more of his lies, uh, more inclusion of the rainbow people, uh, more inclusion of the trans stuff. Yeah, so if this is the change that Bubba Wallace is talking about, then I want nothing to do with it. 
And, you know, if your goal here, that being NASCAR, is to completely drive all of your fans away, then you're doing an excellent job of that. I can tell you this, that there probably will not be many people left at the end of this that are willing to uh, go on board the woke change train that Bubba Wallace is preaching about here. And by the way, he is getting mocked all over social media for these comments, and rightfully so. NASCAR fans specifically are fed up with this. And if you would like to read some of those responses, uh, I will put a link in the description and you can check those out. But let's just be real here. Bubba Wallace is somebody who is truly lost, okay? And he needs Jesus in his life. Because if he doesn't, he's going to be eternally separated from God. And one day he will stand before him and have to give an account of his life, just like we all will. But the question is, will he repent and turn his life to Christ? Or will he continue to revel in his sin, throw his lies out there in his narratives, and go down that road? That choice is going to be up to him. But what about you watching right now? That's right. What I want to do right now is I want to end this video on hope. This is something I do on all my videos. I talk about, of course, the end time Bible prophecy headlines. Keep you guys up to speed with everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching me right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And hey, trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash not by sight news. When you do, remember you get early access to these videos before they hit YT. Uh, and you can also leave all your comments censorship free and send me direct messages. Or you can click that super thanks button down below on this video here if you prefer to tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.